All right, y'all, this is another episode of Dustin Car Parts. And uh, as you can see, I got the bullet uh, hood hinges installed from Ring Brothers. And in this, um, as you can see, they got a stamp, Ring Brothers, right there. And uh, pretty much is, um, they come with all the bolts, the shocks, come with the shocks, the shocks, and all the bolt hardware. You know, you see the shocks. And the big piece right here, which I had to re-drill, I etched the hole right there to get this to come, get this to go down and work. So um, pretty much, uh, how I get the, the fit with the uh, the bolts, they fit the same way as you can see, and they come with a washer. And what I use was I use a uh, fender, the fender bolt down, uh, as you can say with uh, clips. And they fit right in the same hole, the same kind of bolt, bolt uh, thread pattern. So you ain't got to worry about that if you decide to get one of these hoods. So uh, being, being hood hinges. And um, so I got one side installed, and uh, a lot, a lot of day I just move. I got, I got to go buy some more uh, clips, but I just move some of the clips so I can put it and uh, mount the other one down. So I'm about to install the second one in there. And uh, right now we got the. Um, uh, the, this is the hood from uh, Hoss Gen, and um, I think it's six twenty nine. I think I paid for this hood plus truck uh, truck uh, uh, freight truck freight uh, price or whatnot. Uh, I had to pay them to get here, and I think it was like one twenty five. But this is a uh, Sunco Sunco hood. For high jeans, and it's, I think it's a racing. I think majority of people say it's like a racing hood. So Sunco racing hood. Uh, if I'm saying the wrong, answer, just let me know. But um, it comes it come like this. I was trying to smooth out, make it easy for my paint, man. And um, I got two bolts. It come, come with the bolts and stuff, you know, that you can install it with. And um, it's fiberglass, so. Uh, it's a little light, <laughs> so I'm gonna be a little faster than what I was. But um, other than that, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, I'm gonna get this installed. Try to get this. Make sure I'm trying to get it, make sure I get it even. Even where I need to be at, so. Yeah. I want a lot of y'all. Um, I'm a little nervous. Only reason I'm a little nervous, cause um, when you spend a lot of money, I mean, you don't spend a lot of money. So I spent about 800 bucks for these bullet um, hood hinges, and I have not seen bullet hood hinges on a third gen Camaro yet. So it 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 it, it, it ain't ever been done. I haven't seen it yet. Even the Camaro that. Um, Detroit Speed uh, made, they have bullet hood hinges. Even the um, um, Hots Motorsport Gen, they they did some out of Camaro, the red Camaro with the, um, the the new motor in it, the LS motor and stuff in it. It doesn't even have bullet hood hinges. So anytime, I don't know, it's just me. Anytime time we do something new, just, you know, be prepared for extra problems, you know. So I'm hoping everything goes fine you know beside me i didn't go to Harbor freight and get me a drill and i gotta um drill the holes for the hood pins and the hood pins we got we got um uh that day star hood pin so it's for fiberglass hood so that's what we got right now so i'm gonna go to and i got me some black black uh hood pins because i want the black ones instead of the metal ones but um I don't know, y'all. Just you know, just a little nervous. Definitely spend a lot of money on some, but I paid. Like I said about, I think about eight hundred, about eight hundred fifteen dollars for you hit some good hands. And I could have already spent the money and went and got got all my took that and you know spent the money and got my suspension done. That's my suspension. I only need about twelve hundred dollars, about two hundred more dollars, and I'm, all the suspension will be done. So, 
So I could have spent this money on on the hood hinges on something else. But I decided to do something different than I haven't seen done before. That's just me. I like to be different. And um That's what I that's that's what I plan to do to make my car different. And my car be unique and different. I don't want my command to be like nobody else. Can't nobody say I'm copycat nobody because um the plan that I'm doing for, to this car, I already had planned a few months uh, last year what I had plans, you know. Because I took a chance and went to school and got my CDLs, you know, um, in five months. Well, it took me about, I went to school April 29th, got my CDLs August the 8th. So you can say um, it took me about how long? I don't know, probably about three, four months. I got my CDL. During that time, I learned a lot of things. So, that's another talk, but yeah, y'all. Uh, this is how you install it. This is how you install it. So, I got them tight in now, snug in now pretty good. I don't want to scrape them. Alright, so. Install the shocks. One second. The shocks, right quick. So I think the shocks, then they go. Gotta do them. Let me see. Is it the bottom or the top? I think the top will be. Nah, I gotta go like this. Alright, pop it on there. Alright. They don't pop no no. They don't know no. She's on my security. Get the other side. Pop it on now. This on no. Alright. Got that side on no, so hey y'all. We're gonna try to get the hood installed next, y'all. Be right back. Slide the hinges off too. You know oh, the shot hinges off. Okay. Like this, this slide this a little bit too. So you know okay, okay, alright. Alright. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, because we all, we all slide that one up. Mm -hmm. We ain't slide this side up. Yeah, you right, you right, you right. Alright, slide the hinges off. Alright. Oh, oh, oh. Get back over there, cool. Oh, he, oh, he, oh, yeah, like, oh, get back over there. Get back over there. Get back over there. Alright, y'all. Uh, got my neighbor Rick. He helping me out. This Rick. That's my that's What's up? Little neighbor. Right yeah, call, call for help. Well, I'm struggling, y'all. I'm struggling. Struggling over here today. Yeah, that's a little bit. That's a little bit. Tight right there. Just, just tighten that one, then we'll see what we got. Yeah, yeah, so 
Move this one back. Let me turn it down. Which one about should move? How time should do it? Yeah, this one. Yeah, that's Tighten this one up, Ryan. Then we'll go to the other side. Yeah, tighten all that back up. Loosen that bottom, then you might move just a little bit, right? Uh -huh. That's all it takes, just get it off this front of him. Mm -hmm. Get one in the middle. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh -huh. I right, snug it right there, right? Snug right there? Yeah, just snug it. Tool from yeah, Hopper Freight. Yeah, it's good there, man. Get the hood pins put in there. Just make sure everything's tight. You good, man. All right, y'all. There it is. See <laughs> you right back. All right, y'all. Uh, back again. Trying to go ahead and finish up today. So we can go ahead and finish up episode seven. This is episode seven. And uh, I ain't want to upload the video without having the hood pins installed. But me and my neighbor, we finally got the line straight. <laughs> All way across on both ends. Come on this side. All in. See all I can see what I want to do. I want before I put the hood pins in there because I know I'm gonna have a paint guy got to come paint the car. When I get, you know, when I get painted with or whatnot. And uh, I ain't want to have the hood pins um, drilling in the hood. He started the hood and then had a hood creak and then he screened the hood up and then the hood pins be set the wrong way. So what I did was I put a little grease right there, a little grease right there, and then I made a mark right there, a mark right there. So what I'm gonna do now? See, can I get the uh, drill a hole through the fiberglass on both ends? See, one spot. Make sure I get a straight hole. All right. All right. Side. All right. 
And about right here. Right here. Make sure, make sure you're in the hole straight. Cause you know, one thing about these fire glass hood, you make a mistake on these, you can't correct. See, got it in there. The holes, them just the holes. See, on both sides. On both sides, you got to see. Uh, you see the hood pin on both sides. And what I'm gonna do now. I watched a video with this, with this doing, so you probably wonder why how I know how to do this, and I ain't <laughs> never done it before. But um, which I put the part number in the description. I wonder how afraid I got this uh, this kit <coughs> boiler kit, and I got uh, the Hyper Freight Royal 18 watt in a real expensive uh, drill, but uh. That's the kit, so I'm putting this on right now. But you post you supposed to put the, the hole in there first. Put the hole in there first with the drill. Then you put this on there. Then you put this on there. So, so then you put the hole and then you put this on there like this. So Jump on me, y'all. Oh, I need some. I need, I need, uh, I need some to hold the hood. Y'all give us a second. I'm need my son to hold the hood while I uh, turn this. Give me one second. We're back. So I got, I got the first hole in there. So as you can see, might need to clear up a little bit more. But I can just cut that right there. But I got the first hole in there. And then if you, yeah, make a big mess. If I knew that, I would have just, I'm going to clean up after this. Mess up my pretty, 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 uh, in the bay. But, yeah, uh, as you can see, it's dead in the middle. And that's how you want it. See? It's dead in the middle. That's how you want it. And, uh, pretty much, this how it's going to look. See, once I put that on now, the ground. See it? All right. I'll do the other one. All right. All right, got that hole. Follow your hole. Make sure you put it in the hole right here. And hold your hood. Make sure you get it in there straight because you don't want it to be crooked. Look at that. Now look, look a lot of clean up to do. All right, y'all, put it down. Make sure you got it. See, as you can see, got a level. And as you can see, whatever in that. Uh, one second. I'm gonna send that just like that. All right, y'all, give me a second. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back. So uh, the problem we got now is the Daystar hood pin, even when I adjust them all the way up, they don't fit. Even when I had them all the way up, the farthest I can get is about right there. Probably about right there. So what I did, well, I had some uh, summer, I need some summer racing uh, hood pins laying around. Uh, and uh, 
I'm using them, but the thing is, I'm using them now, and they fit, they fit in between there right here. So, what I'm, have, what I'm doing right now, you see how I cut that one open? To make the hood pins fit, because the ones I got, they won't fit. So, I'm gonna respray these. I'm gonna respray these hood uh, pins. And then, as you can see, that's what I'm doing right now. So, uh, I'm just trying to show y'all a quick example uh, how I'm making the hood pins uh, work. One second, one second. As y'all can see, what I'm doing right here. Taking the drill. It's gonna get stuck, it's gonna get stuck sometimes. So. Y'all can see right here, see. One second, y'all. One second. Let me see the other hood pin. I got these hood pins from uh, Speedway Motors. Let me see. So I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to have to respray them. Just because, you see, that's a gloss. And there's like a plain, plain gloss black. So I'm, I'm going to like a Saint gloss black. I'm going to respray these anyway. But see, see what I'm doing? Made them fit. Alright y'all, let me uh, go ahead and um, get the rest of the uh, whole stuff drilled in the, in the fiberglass hood where these go at right here, and then we'll be right back. I'm not sure that's where I want to be at. Alright. Second guess for a second cut. What I tell you? Oh. Yup. That's a day star for you. Bolts ain't even long enough. See that, y'all? Alright, watch it. The bolt ain't even long enough, y'all. Alright y'all, we'll be right back. Man, figure out something. We'll be right back. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. I'm so glad to be done with the episode. Cause I caught hell from the beginning. From getting the hood lined up and um the hood pin, they start hood pins. Uh as you see, finally got them installed. Okay, okay, I'm gonna tighten this side out some more. And tighten this side out some more, I think too. But I finally got them installed. I had to use the summit racing hood pins I had just laying around. As you can see, and uh, now he, he, he got a moment. Got a moment, y'all. See if I got it right. All right. The hood pin. See it? Hood pin. There it is. As you see, they're falling in there, and then you can see all. Uh, that's how it looks. 
But pretty good if you ask me. Especially for an Emerson, I just started this overnight. But yeah, that's it, y'all. And I want to show y'all. Um, I'm glad that's over. I'm glad. It's, really, I'm glad that was so over, y'all. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, it, it, I'm talking about some. Like really, it beat me up. Really, but anyway, we are gonna get back to the good, back to the good news. Uh, I got everything pretty much I need. The fence, the, the suspension up. Uh, on that, uh, the, the springs, the lower springs coming in. Coming in to, uh, I think next week. Oh, the springs coming in next week. And they'll be here. And then I got the brake cablers. I got the wood, wood brake cablers. The brake lines. Got the um, Warner Bar. Pop, uh, the uh, power brake. Um, brake cablers for the 4 Gen Ren. And um, wood, wood doesn't make them for them. So that's why I got that. I, I got the power brake kind. They work pretty good too. But I got a hot to boost system anyway. So like really... My brakes are already perfect anyway, really to be honest. I just did a little upgrade pretty much on my brake cables and brakes, but my I got a hydro boost system anyway, so. But yeah though, I got everything y'all, and all I'm really just waiting on. And the reason why I got this one, the fat one, uh stud mount brace, fat one because on the UMI, they sit up a little higher. And on my uh let me show y'all one second. On my, uh, on my, since I have the, um, the hydro boost system, hydro boost system from Will, from Willwood, and I had a, the, well, it's two different, um, products. I got the Willwood, um, uh, master cylinder right here, and then I got the, the whole unit. It's a CC, <coughs> as you can see on the side right here. Yeah, so, but yeah, the main problem I got clearance see the other one it come up a little higher so when it come up a little higher right now it's gonna it's, it's gonna hit it's gonna hit it's gonna hit on this so i ain't gonna have no room but yeah um soon but very soon y'all i'm gonna uh i'm supposed to get new headlights make no new headlights i got make new tail lights and um new tail lights so the ones i got now they they blacked out so i'm gonna get new tail lights on and then I'm gonna do a custom third third brake light. So y'all make sure y'all stay tuned for the next episode of Double Some Car Parts. And y'all, I'm sorry for the long, 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 long content. Alright, I'll be right back, y'all.